Hello, I'm Scott Smith. I'm Tanya Smith. Welcome to the Turpentine Creek Podcast. Hello, I'm Lori, one of the staff zoologists here at the refuge. I actually also manage the gift shop. Um, as many as you may know, when you come out to the refuge, this is the first place you see, the first place you walk in is our big gift shop area. Um, you normally come in, check in, and pay your admission to go, see, go through and see all the animals, but hopefully you can stop by and, and buy some items as well. Um, we try to keep our gift shop here stocked um, with everything from t-shirts and hats and apparel um, to stuffed animals and, and puzzles and any other kind of thing you can think of um, that you might want to take home as a souvenir. We actually also have a downtown gift shop as well, um, right next to the Basin Park in downtown Eureka Springs, and it is stocked with almost all the same stuff as the, the gift shop here is. So if you're downtown and you forgot to pick up something when you were out here at the refuge, then you can stop in there and, and get some items as well. And it's kind of neat not only to get to bring home a souvenir from the refuge and a memory of, of your time here with all the animals, but it also all helps raise money for the refuge. Um, the more things you buy in the gift shop, the more money that goes back to help the cats and help us look after them. So hopefully next time you come out, um, you can stop in and, and pick up um, some souvenir items. You can also go online at www.turpentinecreek.org and uh, get, get some gift shop items there as well. So my name is Ariel Skepmos and I'm from Loveland, Colorado. And I'm one of the interns here at Turpentine Creek. And our cat of the week this week is Sheba a seven-year-old cougar that's right here. Uh, Sheba's actually been with us since 2007. She was rescued uh, by a couple who brought her to us. Um, they actually rescued her two years earlier from the woman's niece who was not taking proper care of Sheba. Um, when Sheba came to us, she was in excellent health, but when they originally rescued her, she was very, very thin. Um, you see most of the bones in her body. She'd also been very harassed and been shot at by pellet guns. So, turned around a lot since then. Very, very sweet cat, obviously. Very healthy, not skinny at all. But very playful as well. Really likes eggs. Make her very happy. She's also a very vocal cat as well. Um, you can usually hear her purring. Kind of sounds like a helicopter. Is that good? Not really part of their diet, just something extra to give them. Keep them happy. So, if you want to come out and visit Sheba or any of our other cats here, at Turpentine, we're open 9 to 6 every day. Uh, we have guided tours on the hour, every hour between 11 and 4, and then feeding at 5. So definitely come out, see her, and any of our other cats here. Hi, my name is Stephen Vargas. I'm a staff biologist here at Turpentine Creek. And today's question of the week, well, a lot of people have been asking us um, when or whether we will be putting Mac and BB t back together. Um, they were separated um, quite a while back due to nutrition problems to prevent them from um, hurting each other. So um, actually recently, just past um, Wednesday, um, we put them back together and thanks to Bill and Nancy Plummer, we were able to give them a nice uh, pool for them to swim in. Actually next week, um, on the 31st of May, Mac and BB will both be turning one year, one year of age. This is BB who's getting moved to a new cage, a nice bigger area, so that we can hopefully move him back in his brother with his brother. Hi Beebs. You ready to go? Come on. Come on. There you go. Oh, perfect. Good job, dude. Can I close the door? All right, here's Mac, moving him over with BB, coming back from promotion. Thank <laughs> you. 
Got him. You got him. Good boy.